today we are going to learn that how to perform the land use land cover change in QGIS with the help of Molas 2. Most of the time we capture uh, historical images and download images from the uh, USGS website especially Landsat images but we do not know how to perform and predict the land use land cover change for the future. So now I am going to as I have uh, classified the images already so I need to reclassify the images because in 2000, uh, 1996 there is one is indicated as build up area in 2016 as well uh, build up area is indicated by the number one but our 49 number indicates and 52 number indicates that it is water but I want to reclassify it as a two so both of these uh, images I reclassified as them as one two three four because my classified images contain uh, a build up area, water, vegetation and the barren land. So that's why I reclassified the images. Whenever you do reclassification of images, remember that your coordinate system should be same and second one is that your values of the reclassification like 1, 2 and 3 uh, are should be same in both images. Like 1 indicates build up area should be indicated 1 as build up area in 2016 imagery as well in the 1996 imagery. If 4 indicates water, then in 1996 imagery as well as in 19, uh, 2016 imagery, well, it should be 4 indicate water. After reclassification, open up the QGIS. And add on the raster images of 1996 and 2016 imagery which you recently reclassify. After that, click on the plugins and install the Molas tool. After installation, click on the raster and then move on to the Molas tool. 
After that add on the initial raster, the historical image and the final raster you have recently classified. In spatial variables you can add on the like road network, any slope, uh, raster you have uh, collected the data, any name you want to add on. So now they have uh, indicated the geometries matched. That means your coordinate systems are same for both the images. You can check their correlation as well if you have other layers of like slope, dam. After that move on to the area changes where you can uh, indicate the area changes in units of square kilometer and hectare as well. It will develop a correlation between matrix, correlation matrix between your uh, land uses. So if uh, there is an increase in the uh, barren land that means indicated by the minus because vegetative area is converted into the barren land. If water is decreases still it indicates into minus. So uh, changes in the area it also indicate in the percentages. Next we have to uh, also if you want to indicate the translational map that what land use is converted into another land use you can indicate and save it as a map. So I am now saving the translational map. Next, we have to perform the modeling so we can predict the land use land cover change for the future. Click on the train neural network and choose the artificial neural network and it will automatically calculate your uh, coefficient of uh, the accuracy. Uh, kappa coefficient is an, uh, the method to apply to identify the accuracy level of your change analysis and it will also help in predicting your future land use land cover change. Overall accuracy is going to be my uh, is 95% as shown below but you can achieve almost 80% above accuracy is okay for utilization of your translational map or any other uh, for the modeling. Now cl click on the simulation result and indicate the prediction. Uh, for which you're, you want to predict the land use land cover change. I am typing as 2030. You can increase the iteration as well. By just following some steps, few steps, you can perform the land use land cover prediction change analysis for the future and uh, this is happened uh, through the MOLAS tool in QGIS.